Hey guys, it's Carlos EDC, and I thought I'd start with a shot of some leather galore. But uh, let's take care of that because today we're reviewing the Ocelot from High Grain Design. We're gonna be starting with the positives, and the positive this thing is a great, great looking design very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I like the contrast between the hard angles and like the curvature of the leather and, and the circle of the logo. Like it's like a geometrical contrast more than a color contrast. But because you can ask him for all kinds of leathers, both inside and out, you can end up with an extremely, extremely handsome wallet. I went with Huntington Brittle and Natural Pueblo, which is a really cool leather because it's like sanded i don't know they they add some sort of texture on the leather that's um, really cool to me personally and then the honey tan actually looks like like a like a honey and obviously this color has been patina i've been carrying this wallet for quite a while also on the positives it is made with extremely nice materials it is made uh, with, with extremely cool design and it's made masterfully and I really mean it, like every single stitch is just exactly like the next one. Just every single stitch is done so straight and so beautifully. Uh, this little um, line, see they, he went inside with the stitching a little bit further to put this uh, beveled line at the end of the wallet. Just extremely beautiful detail. He didn't need to do it, but he did it. Uh, the edges on this wallet were... Uh, polished extremely nicely and obviously I've been carrying it around and I'm rough with my things because I'm a construction worker you can see the patina from my pockets this will probably not happen uh, to, to you because I do 14,000 steps a day on average uh, as a construction worker in Arizona so it's a lot of wear and a very little time but I think it looks cool I think it looks awesome for the Asola patina party I'll keep going with the positives uh, these notches right here is not only a cool design but when you're about to let's say pay for something you can just push it down here and grab the wallet and it's something very intuitive something um, I handed this to my little nephew and he started doing it right away so it's not just the hipster thing it's not just the design thing this notch is really helpful and you don't need to use it if you don't want to make that extra step this cutout right here allows your thumb to get in here and just pinch it out and it's extremely functional extremely nice I, I love it when somebody uh, can do a design that is both super cool looking and very functional. Capacity of this wallet is also positive. It is a minimalist uh, design, much like your KC or your Ren, but it's a little bit more in terms of uh, capacity. I've been putting four cards, up to four or five cards in the middle pocket, and then I do the RFID with some cash, up to two to three bills and thirds and then the most used uh, card on the back that way when i put my wallet in my pocket it's rfid protected all my cards because i have a, an rfid protection card in the front but then my most used card is ready to go back here which i really appreciate the logo is also nice uh justin from fried green design is really keen for colors and, and and design which i really enjoy personally this colors i want for myself uh, but he continuously works on um, these things and he's very active on instagram which is really cool he's very responsive uh, again has tons of options on his etsy uh, page which is just freaking cool and i hear his turnaround is extremely great uh, his customer service is top of the line so yeah i'm talking a lot of good things about this uh company and this wallet because i mean it now i, I paid for this wallet it wasn't sent to me yeah i'm gonna you know, also a patina party with a bunch of people so that, so that i have more data about the maker i have more data about the card which is really cool because it's 10 uh high-end wallet collectors not uh, talking to me almost on a daily basis about their experience and their their wallets and their patinas which a lot of them are extremely nice i mean goes they 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 do some pueblo some almo to just have extremely nice wallets uh with the same design and i uh, having a very good experience these are guys that have 20 30 uh different designs of wallets could be carrying anything and right now we uh, have decided to carry this so it's pretty cool. Now some size comparison. This is the Ren, which is a really popular wallet. And it's by uh, Benjamin Bott. Thickness-wise, 
the rent's a little bit thicker, but somehow they have around the same capacity. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter. Another one I'd like to see next to is the Casey. Very different, very different. This is like fancy going out for dinner. Uh, this is like a construction worker uh, wallet, which I, I personally really like because I am a construction worker. Uh, but I've been carrying this one and yeah. Then the Casey, which is very minimalist, you know, like very just classy, you know, normal wallet now in the negatives and guys i really look for these like if you just bought this and you weren't reviewing it you wouldn't find a negative uh you would just carry it and you would just love it but i have to find out about the nitpicky things uh because i review them so just because i say a few things doesn't mean i don't like it i review these things and i love them i i've kept everyone i've reviewed because I have loved almost every single one of these. There's my disclaimer. So the first one, and I didn't notice this myself, somebody else did, but there's like, the thread goes up to there and then there's a hole in the front. However, in the back, he made it go all the way. So that's how nitpicky I get. <laughs> oh, I didn't even find this out. Somebody else from the patina party found out. Like, if, if this has to happen, you should have the whole stitching up to to the end and the front part of the wallet where your logo is and where you're taking all those Instagram photos. But that's one super nitpicky. Don't, don't even count it as a negative. It's like a nitpick. Then the next one is this edge right here. This part of the wallet that's separated right now uh, actually c comes glued originally. It comes like this for aesthetic purposes, I think. And on the third day, it opened up. Like the glue warmed up for me running around with a shovel. And it opened up. And I don't see that as a negative. I think it probably should come just like that, unglued. Um, the Casey, in fact, from Lost Dutchman Leather comes unglued. Like the stitching goes up to there. And then it's just unglued uh, leather which makes it easier for you to grab your cards from inside the wallet. He was talking about, because somebody did bring that up to him from the patina party. So he was maybe thinking about leaving it unglued or stitching it all the way. So soon enough, this won't be a negative. In fact, if you order one just uh, on the notes, maybe you can write your preference on this corner and I'm sure he would accommodate you. So it's not even a negative. It's, it's, it's in fact just a neutral. And then the other one, Taking your cards out of the middle when you have uh, four or five, it's kind of hard because there's no notch and they're like perfectly uh, in there. So they're not like poking out or anything. They're just perfectly in there. And when you have, you know, three, maybe four cards, it's kind of hard to pinch out. I asked again the jockeys, the Oslo jockeys, if that was a problem for them. And half of them said no, that they could grab their cards pretty easily and half of them were like yeah i struggle a little bit no big deal so those are the nitpicks uh the positives again guys great freaking wallet great freaking design easy to access your important cards uh extremely well made extremely good uh, materials extremely good thread the master master uh, worksmanship here guys I highly recommend it I think it's 60 65 dollars might be more if you ask for like higher um, rare materials I think these are pretty normal materials I don't I'm not sure about the honey tan brittle I've only seen him work with it but yeah guys I, I highly recommend it I recommend it over I'm not gonna name any names but I recommend it a lot as a top loader um, it's probably my top in my top two top loaders and i own a few so yeah also like subscribe uh, this little button right here is for you to subscribe now uh, also check out my new sticker and also maybe watch another video or a playlist y'all have a good day